For this one, I'm going to do the Porsche 918 Spider Rysac package. I'm going to do the Martini livery, which is quite a common livery on Porsches. Especially this 918 one, there's quite a few of these about. Now they come in black or white. Well, the black is like a real matte black. So if you've had the chance to paint this in one of the three colours that they gave out not long ago, you'll be able to get the matte black effect which looks better but I'm going to just do this one in a white one uh, and I'll put a couple of pictures at the end of what it looks like in black and you can obviously um, mess about a bit you know whatever you want but just for an idea I'm going to make it red first just by using that red circle all the way through and put a blue sur uh, blue square on line that up obviously either side of the red in the middle that's obviously too wide there and move that in a bit this is the start of making the stripes for the martini livery. So I'm going to put a little double stripe on there. You've got to make sure you get that high enough that it covers the roof, but not too big that it uh, becomes sort of cumbersome. So now I'm going to stick a white one on the side of that. Blue the other side to match that one. Same sort of width for part of the other one. Then obviously we want another lighter blue stripe on that side to match the other one. Try and get that sort of evenish to start with anyway. Now we need the other white square for the other side to match that. You can see they're not lined up there, so that needs moving across. Just leave a little gap of the dark blue. So now we're going to go to the. I need to put this on the hood actually in a minute, but I need to put a circle in the middle. That's on paint through, but you don't need it on paint through on that one. So now over the top of that, we need a red one, uh, slightly smaller than that, and inside. Now we're going to need a, I'm going to use a stripe just for the um, name holder for the martini. I'm going to zoom into that and get that quite level. I'll use mirror mode on that just to make it a little bit bigger. Now we've got a black one inside the gold one. You can change the colours on these, it's just, I'm doing this in this colour, but I have changed it since in a black one. Uh, where, where I've got gold and red, they're actually in grey and a different shade of red. Now we want to start the stripes on the back and just try and angle the car so you get that first curve there so it goes across the back spoiler. So we use that one, now we're going to use a, a lighter blue one, this is for the stripe effect going across the sweeping curve at the back of the car. Then we need a darker blue one inside of that you're just going to basically leave a strip of the light blue this red then butts up almost to the dark blue and that so I want a bit wider red so we're going to put that blue on there leave a bit of a wider mark on the red there then a lighter blue so we're just going to go across most of the dark blue And then here, this is the other dark blue for the second blue stripe. And then we're going to blank it off with a white one just up to the blue there. So that gives you the two light blues and red in the middle with the two dark blues outside of that. So you do have to angle the car a bit to get that sweeping curve on it. So now it's going to finish off the side uh, with just a couple of squares. Angling it away from the... Uh, bottom drop there so it doesn't go across the, um, the the dish of the foot wheel type thing we're going to just have a little bit of a curvy just give it a little bit of a shape onto the dark blue again angling the car and finally on that side it's going to put a red and angle the car again 
just to give that flow of the red onto the bottom of the car. Right, so now I'm going to do the martini on the side. Again, starting with a circle, obviously zoom in a bit so I can get a better idea of where it wants to go. And again, I'm going to put the dark red there inside that gold one. Now again, we're going to go for the fixed stripe for the martini name placeholder. You can tell I've actually speeded this up a little bit because otherwise the video will go on for about an hour. I know, you know, I don't want to bore you with it, but just give you an idea how, how you do this really. Now we've got going to have a make this a little bit thin, smaller actually, just to get inside that gold one. So it's got a little bit of an outline that's all. And it's important you put this on after the circle because otherwise the the letters of the martini doesn't look right. And obviously being restricted to 50 vinyls always makes it difficult. You always end up having to sacrifice a couple of things that you would want to put on it, but you just can't. So we've got the first M there. Uh, and now all the other ones are all going to be the same size letters. So you haven't got to worry about the letters. Really. So just zoom in and, and line it up a little bit and get them reasonably straight. So this really is just going to be an idea for you. You can obviously make the lines uh, wider than I've done or narrower than I've done. Um, but this is just to give you an idea of um, just doing the Martini logo really on a car like this where the, the car's quite curvy on the back there and it's quite difficult to get the curves to fit right unless you, you know, manipulate the car a little bit by angling it, which I did earlier. So obviously we've still now got the same size letters as we had on the other side of the car. So we can just, you know, obviously zoom in and then line that one up with the right angle and all the others will then just follow suit as we go through. important obviously to keep this lined up on the left hand side or the right hand side wherever you're working so you do get you do get that um you know you get you get it nicely lined up this happens quite a lot you seem to hit that letter and it seems to say do you want to remove it it's a bit of a i don't know what it is really but it does happen quite a lot i'm sure it happens to other people as well I'm not messing about too much on the sides here. I will mess about with this afterwards and then try and get it so it's um, you know, nice and square and straight afterwards. But for the sake of the video, I'm just gonna try and do it reasonably quick so you get an idea of how this is done. And then obviously it's your own preference and how wide you wanna make these stripes and stuff. You will notice the light blue stripes that didn't go quite down the bottom of the car. That's because I'm going to cut them off at the end anyway. That bit of front across the front of the hood there, I want to cut that off uh, in a little while. And the same on the back. Just to neaten the car up a little bit really. And that's the way they are done on the Martini, the real cars. That's how they're done anyway. So I'm not worrying about going too low on them light blue stripes. As you can see, we're running out of vinyls. So I've had to mess about with this to make sure that I get all of the lettering on front and both sides. And obviously with Martini being seven letters, that's 21 letters you've used up out the whole, you know, of your 50. And then you've got to put loads of stripes on. So you always end up sacrificing a couple of bits that you'd want to finish the car off. But unfortunately you can't because of the restriction for 50 vinyls. Sorry about the little flicky bits in this video, it's just it's not recorded very well for some reason, but uh, I hope you can um, just 
bear with them flicky bits and it's where it keeps saying about removing it it's not ideal I know but I've, you know, several people have asked me to put this video on so I just want to just put this on and um, get back racing with the uh, race team events that I've been doing now this back one I'm going to blank off that bit where it overhung on the back so I'm going to use that uh, whatever you call it just check it goes across the back well when I'm using a different color just to double check that and then I'll change that to white So this one to blank this off I'm using a different color again just so I get a better idea of where it wants to be and then I'm going to change it to white once I get the lines up of that bonnet there or front bump or whatever you want a front bump bumper mainly so that's what it is and it does cost you as you can see there some uh, stripes curves numbers alphabet actually not numbers I had those already but if you want to you know lose a couple of bits and put the number 22 or 23 on then by all means go and do that but uh, that's the only way I could get it to, with the 50 vinyls to look like that and I will obviously follow this up with a couple of pictures of the black one uh, just to show you what that looks like as well as, a, as an option with slightly wider lines on the hood um, so I hope you um, find this useful and you can um, perhaps send me a couple of pictures of what you've done on yours good luck with that I um, hope you didn't go on too long uh, see you on the next one cheers